DeGerolamo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I rise before my colleagues to honor a great lady, a lady who is probably better known for her maiden name, Kennedy, but should remember, be remembered for so much more. Eunice Kennedy Shriver, to many families who care for loved ones with special needs, is an absolute hero. A hero because she created a program that gives some sense of normalcy to a lot of children and adults who long to be just like the rest of us. That program is the Special Olympics. Since its beginning in 1968, which is the year I graduated high school, Special Olympics has empowered athletes with intellectual disabilities to develop self-confidence and become leaders so that they can have a say in how individuals are treated. That first year consisted of 1,000 athletes competing in three sports, track and field, swimming, and floor hockey. Just a year later, the Special Olympics right here in Pennsylvania began with 135 athletes who competed at Westchester University. Westchester University right here in Pennsylvania. Today, the Special Olympics now serves almost 20,000 athletes with intellectual disabilities who participate in 21 Olympic-style sports at no cost to them, their families, or their caregivers. The Special Olympics continued effort to change society perspective of people with disabilities by showcasing their abilities is an inspirational le legacy of Eunice Kennedy Shriver. On March 24, 1968, President Ronald Reagan awarded Shriver the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian award for her work on behalf of people with individuals. Although Mrs. Shriver passed away more than eight years ago, her legacy lived on. This resolution would designate July 20th, 2017 as Eunice Kennedy Shriver Day in Pennsylvania in honor of the amazing accomplishments of the Special Olympics founder and the strong history of Special Olympics in Pennsylvania. And I would also like to acknowledge and applaud a young lady who brought this issue to my attention. Her name is uh, Carolyn Phillips. I believe she works for the Special Olympics, and I just want to recognize her and thank her. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative.